Hi, I'm Jody Ross, your town manager here with a weekly update. And today I'm here at Forge Beach. It's a beautiful spring day after 10 days or so of rain. And so I'm here with Parks, Grounds, Recreation and Cemetery Director, Jim Duane. And we're gonna update you on the Forge Beach Rehab Project. So this is a project that the town meeting uh, and the Community Preservation uh, Committee and the state all contributed funds to. I believe it was about 700,000 from town meeting and I think actually a sidewalk or summer village mitigation funds were used too Correct. and also about 100,000 of state uh, with most of the funding coming from CPA. But so Jim, can you tell us a little bit about where we are on this project? Sure, absolutely. Thank you, Jody. Um, as mentioned, we're doing a rehab down here and currently we are in the process of completing the final design, working with the planning board, the conservation commission, and a couple of other committees in town in order to ensure that the end result is functional and uh, aesthetically pleasing for the town. So as, as we go through the process of final design, we've had a few night meetings. We're working through some of the details and uh, some of the major components of the project will be to shift the entire parking area away from the water resource as well as to reduce the amount of impervious pavement and try to restore some of this area to the lawn area. And then the other major components of the project are the construction of a new accessible playground along with some accessible pathways to connect the par new parking to the new playground. So Jim, I know one of the complaints when we were down here last summer with the residents was the parking lot and that it was difficult for cars to maneuver, there wasn't adequate parking, and I know we can see that um, some of the parking lots deteriorating. Can you talk to us a little bit about the specifics of the parking lot rehab? Sure. So as part of the parking lot plan, uh, one of the challenges that we have at this location is that the parking is very informal. Uh, cars park haphazardly and it reduces the availability of parking depending on how the cars park as they come in. What we're going to do, um, and it may sound counterintuitive, but as we reduce the asphalt area, which is beneficial to all of the surrounding wetland vegetation as well as the pond, we're going to formally stripe the parking area that we do recreate and it will accommodate 50 vehicles in formal parking spaces along with an associated number of handicap accessible parking spaces to accommodate you know not just people that might be in wheelchairs or mobility devices but you know we do have an aging population that does like to come down and use these types of facilities and uh, having appropriate accessible parking is beneficial for everyone. So Jim, we're on the beach now. Is there anything happening with the beach and um, is that part of this project? So as of right now, the beach and any type of work on the beach is not part of the project. Um, one of the things that we looked at as we engaged the community was kind of the bigger picture of the entire facility and identified areas of opportunity for the town. Uh, it became very clear as we looked at the types of work and the scope of work that needed to be done that it would be extremely expensive as well as interrupt the beach operations for multiple seasons if we tried to undertake all of that at once. So we developed more of a concept master plan that lays out some of those things and those things include the playground and the parking area that we're take, taking as kind of a phase one. But some of the other things that were identified were some shoreline restoration to help with the erosion that we're experiencing, maybe addressing some of the sand uh, at the beach, which tends to be a little bit rockier than people like. Also, um, you know, increasing and expanding the concessions building to have more effective bathrooms and other types of amenities, as well as providing a little bit more of a formalized area for the boat storage um, for Westford Academy's crew program. So I, I thank you very much, Jim, for um, providing us an update on this Forge Beach uh, rehab program. And of course, to the town and the state CPA for supporting this. It's quite a project and we'll come back in the summer and see how things are going. Uh, but in closing, I just want to remind the public that the selectmen will be meeting again on May 28th and they're going to be discussing stormwater and the uh, weather fee or taxation, including a budget projection for the next three years. And also uh, mark your calendars for our strategic planning retreat at Kimball Farm, which will be held on June 13th at 530 p.m. So thank you very much. Till next time.